In my previous video, I have given you some useful tips to identify how will machine learning impact a project timeline. Now the next step is to find out how do I start my ML journey. Research, software engineering, and HR teams must work together to determine how ML will be used in your organization. They will also identify sources of ML adoption challenges and develop clear strategies to overcome barriers. What does an organization's ML journey look like? Consider an example, a chief experience officer, CXO, at a retail company is starting a machine learning journey with an analytics pipeline, but wants to start leveraging machine learning for different use cases. Each example here describes the ML journey based on the organization's ML experience, what robust strategy, data strategy, culture of learning and collaboration means depend on where you are. A company with limited experience when a team begins an ML journey, inexperience may limit the amount of success a team can attain. The steps below highlight ways to maximize each part of the ML journey with limited experience. After a team has begun an ML journey, team success may still be limited even after several deployments. The steps below highlight ways to maximize each part of the ML journey with a few production loads. Once a team has grown accustomed to completing production deployments, team success can include long-term strategies and organizational goals. The steps below highlight ways to maximize each part of the ML journey with multiple production workloads. Some successful outcomes are only produced after many rounds of iteration. Some outcomes aren't successful at all. What are some common mistakes? While starting an ML journey may not seem difficult, not every organization's transition is straightforward. Viewing AI as a plug-and-play technology with immediate returns. Thinking too narrowly about AI applications. AI has the biggest impact when it's developed by cross-functional teams with a mix of skills and perspectives. Here are some key takeaway. Gain executive sponsorship for proof of concept. Executive sponsorship can maximize the ML journey and strengthen organizational capability and business success by supporting proof of concept development. Use proof of concepts to drive ML engagement within the organization. POCs should be small, safe-to-fail tests that showcase incremental parts of the solution to one or more business goals. Allow teams to experiment and fail. ML teams should be allowed to formulate a problem, complete research, experiment, assess risk, and test assumptions. Each solution may require many rounds of iteration to be successful, and some aren't successful at all. Examine your data strategy. Evaluate, label, and centralize relevant data in a single source of truth, specifically a data lake, for availability and accessibility to other organizational teams. Improve cross-collaboration between different teams. Data science subject matter experts should be a permanent part of multiple business units and teams. AI has the biggest impact when it's developed by cross-functional teams with a mix of skills and perspectives. Building a ML-ready organization requires executive leadership, team structure, and cultural shifts to be successful. If you have come so far and your answer is yes I am well aware with my ML journey, then you may need to know and learn from others' experiences. Next, I will have some industrial examples of machine learning models. This will be covered in my next video. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you have learned something new today. And I will see you in the next one.